Hello, I'm Howard Taft, and I'm here on location in Sterling, Kansas, where students at the local college have started a prank war, the likes of which have not been seen since the infamous Boston Tea Party. Residents of the small rural community viewed the prank as just another wave of collegiate shenanigans until one prank went too far. Things just got out of hand. It spread like wildfire. We couldn't stop it. But have you seen this town? There's nothing to do. Nothing at all. So we just tried to amuse ourselves however we could. Here at Sterling College, we try our best to provide fun activities that promote student interaction and foster a healthy learning environment. When in doubt, one should look no further than the Community Life Covenant for proper direction. There is no excuse for the actions of these students, and as such, I believe that severe punishment is just what the doctor ordered. Once we pulled the first prank, we knew crazy things were going to start happening. But no one knew it would come to this. And here we are in front of Maybe Library, where the prank war took a cataclysmic turn for the worse. The damage inflicted upon this hallowed building can't be measured in mere dollar amounts or man hours. But if we had to make an estimate, we would say $2.7 million and countless man hours. I regret everything, but I know that what I did can't be undone. And that's the worst part about it of all is that I hurt people way beyond what I'd intended. I, I can still see their faces. <laughs> the faces of the children. And they're crying and they're in my dreams, but I can't even sleep. And I'm alone in the dark. And they're chasing me, the wolves. The wolves are chasing me. <laughs> I could be expelled. I could be tortured. I can be killed! Kill! Kill! We should have killed them all! That would have been my preferred course of action. But the administration thought that murder would have portrayed the school in a bad light, so I reluctantly backed down. At least for now. Oh my gosh, that prank was like totally unbelievable. I seriously couldn't find a thing. And so I guess I kind of decided to stay and help since the guy who asked me was really, really cute. And I was hoping to get his name and maybe if I was lucky to get his number. But that didn't really work out because I totally missed lunch. And then I broke a nail, which was even worse because I just got my nail and hair done last week. And you know, this place is divine. You should really try it out because the whole unibrow thing isn't really working out for you. Sorry. Anyway, so the worst part about it is I totally got stuffed into the stuffy religious section and I couldn't breathe because I started coughing because of all the dust. I totally ruined my outfit, which was awful because he ruined the cute guy, but it didn't work out, like I said. Anyway, who's John Calvin? Because there's so many books of him and I really don't know who he is. But we should totally replace him with Cosmo Girl because, you know, Cosmo Girl is just so much more healthier for you. I have a schedule by which my life is conducted. But on the day of the prank, that schedule was maliciously thrown off balance. I remember my alarm going off that morning. Bright and early, of course. The early bird gets the worm. <laughs> anyway, after my early morning online chat session, I made my way to the library. But it wasn't the library I remembered. It was like the massacre of the Jedi Temple. Books were everywhere. Chairs were overturned. The dark side of the force clouded everything. And so I took out my lightsaber and I... Warning. Warning. Oh no! I'm late for my nuclear physics laboratory. They could be probing the fundamental particles without me. I gotta go! I mean, I love the prank. I, I, I loved it. I wish I would have been a part of it. Whoever did that prank, I want to sit down and shake their hand because they're good men to me. 
So, I mean, people were all worried about what the library and had to do and stuff, which I don't really, I don't really understand it because I didn't even know we had a library. When I first heard about the prank, I decided to get up and go check it out for myself, and I couldn't even find the library. So, I, I really understand. To me, it was one of the best things. I thought it was better than when we even won our first game. So, in that, people think I don't know what I'm talking about because I've been here for seven years. But like Coach says, even a broke clock is right twice a day. The books overturned were priceless heirlooms from the early to mid-1900s. But the vandals who committed these horrible acts didn't bring that into consideration, did they? No, they didn't. Did they think about all the unpaid hours we librarians would have to work to get this place back in order? No, they didn't. <sighs> Do you know what I think? I think that these criminals should be punished by having to read War and Peace nonstop for the next 72 hours. That's what I think. That'll teach them never to mess with an underpaid librarian again. <laughs> Sorry. I want to send a clear message to those responsible. Either turn yourselves in or prepare for swift retribution. Perhaps we'll hang you. Uh, um. What? Oh. Okay. We can't. We can't hang you. But we'll get you sooner or later, mark my words! With emotions being so high and the situation escalating, there's no telling when this tale will come to a close. But we have just received news that some of the students have thrown in the towel and confessed. While these students may be shown some mercy, those who continue to flee to neighboring cities and communities or Arkansas may not be shown the same leniency. This just goes to show that some pranks, while indeed harmless, can go too far and instead of adding more life to a community, they cause long-lasting harm and distrust. I'm Howard Taft. Good night. Likes of which have not been seen since the off in in ooh. Oops. With the uh, cat of. We were rolling on that. Yeah, I know you were. All right. <laughs> the damage inflicted upon this build build building. <laughs> to mid 1900s but the vandals who created these shoot me in the head <laughs> oh. <laughs> Josh you're hot <laughs> <laughs> oh I gotta go be party residents of the small rule <laughs> <laughs> Rule! <laughs> Rule! <laughs> <laughs>